Let's look at Figure 1. A few information associated with an upregulation of DNA methyltransferase messenger RNA. So the authors and scientists studied three different subtypes of DNA methyltransferase 1 through 8 B, as well as C Fox. And what we're showing here on the y axis, or what the authors show on the y axis, is context plus shock rats as a proportion of context-only rats in terms of RNA expression. So how much more RNA expression are the shocked animals expressing? These are ones that have fear versus the animals that have context-only, the animals that do not have fear. Their bars reflect the standard error of the mean. So we can see quickly that DNA methyltransferase 1 is the same whether or not the rats have fear. And the other methyltransferase rats in CFOS, uh, these are statistically significant uh, to be uh, expressed more highly in the animals that have fear. So let's see what the authors have to say in the results section about what these DNA methyltransferases are. So they say they tested three different DNA methyltransferase subtypes, 1, 3, and 3B, as well as the immediate release in CFOS, which is rapidly reduced in hippocampus by fear conditioning, and they cite some prior literature on that. And, and this makes sense that the result is such a strong result in the animals with fear. It's consistent with the literature they cite, so that's, that's good. DNA methyltransferase 1 has preferential activity for hemimethylated DNA. It's traditionally considered a maintenance methyltransferase. Well, 3A and 3B are responsible for de novo methylation. So this is not my field, so I need to go ahead and check what Wikipedia tells me about DNA methyltransferases. Now, what does it mean to say de novo and maintenance? Well, de novo methyltransferases, they recognize something. They sense something, and then they methylate newly uh, they newly methylate cytosines, so they add methylation to cytosines that have not been methylated previously. So de novo means they're adding to something that's not methylated. In contrast, the maintenance methyltransferases are adding methylation to DNA when one strand is already methylated. So as these methyl groups fall off the DNA, the maintenance methyltransferases add that methyl back, so to speak, to make the methylation throughout a lifespan of an organism. So, for instance, a gene would continue to be silenced through the life of the organism. So this is a very reasonable story to tell. Right? The maintenance DNA methyltransferase is the same in fear and not in fear. But the de novo methyltransferases in CFOS change. That's a good, reasonable result, and it shows the experiment is important and aligned with prior work.